Let us show you what we are tracking because we've already had hurricane season start in the eastern Pacific. It was on May 15th and right on cue. Once you look at this, Invest 90E that's just offshore from Mexico has a 100% chance of turning into a tropical depression or storm as early as tonight or tomorrow. First name out there on the list is Alvin. The reason why it's not called Alvin or a tropical depression yet is because there is no well-defined center of circulation at this point, but they are anticipating that. Notice the 100% shot, so it doesn't get any more clear than that. We're going to get our first tropical depression or name storm in the eastern Pacific. So that looks like what we're watching right there, likely to form late tonight or tomorrow afternoon. So we'll see where that goes. As for where it is located uh, on the globe, you can see where we're watching. I mean, it's on the southwest side of Mexico right now. Where does it go? It is going to edge up to the north and to the west but it should stay clear of land for the most part. Now, it's in warmer water right now. I mean, those water temperatures are well above the 80-degree mark at this point. But look at that sharp, drastic cutoff, right? Going from the 90s to the 80s to all of a sudden out of nowhere into the 70s. So that is cooler water that's going to be traversing, and that's good because it's going to slow its progression down. Here's a computer model. What we're thinking by Wednesday afternoon probably is a tight circulation at that point. It'd be over some warmer water for sure. Not a lot of shear out there. But watch where it goes. Models do hang on to the energy a little bit longer. Gets close to Baja, Baja area right there, right? The peninsula. And it's still hanging on some of the energy by Sunday. So we'll see where it goes from here. But then, I mean, it just gets pulled apart by the time it gets up very close to land. And by the time it gets even around the lower part of the four corners, just a lot of moisture getting influx in there. And that's about all you're going to find. Maybe some extra rain coming in by the early part of next week for the United States. The United States, we are not worried about it. There's a lot of share out there anyway. Not anticipating this thing to get anywhere close to California. If you're worried about that, do not. But you might get some extra rain out there for the lower part of the four corners. As for the Pacific names, Alvin, Barbara. Those are the first two on the list. And we'll see if we get those over the next couple of weeks. Probably get Alvin by tonight or tomorrow. Uh, generally speaking, June 10th is the first time we see name storm. So this would be about a week and a half to two weeks ahead of schedule for the Eastern Pacific. Remember, it took a long time to get those names out there last season. It started late last season. This season, pretty much right on cue, maybe two weeks early. Uh, tropical storm frequency, I mean, there's no clear one peak. It kind of goes up and down between July, August, September, and the early part of October, but that's for the Eastern Pacific. For the Atlantic, this is some great news right here. Tropical development is not likely in the next seven days. Now, we're not even in the season yet, but this is the fourth season at this point in a row that we're not going to see an out-of-season named storm. So that is good. So the trend working in our favor. There are a couple of tropical waves that we're watching at this point, and you can see right there, they're basically on that ITCZ. They're not going to form into much. We've got a lot of tropical moisture up to the north, but you've got a lot of Saharan dust overhead at that point. It's typical for this time of year. Saharan dust just gets pushed off the coastline, and it traverses across the entire part of the Atlantic over the next several months, and that keeps things very quiet. Saharan dust is about a mile off the deck of the water. It keeps things warm. It keeps it chaotic with the spinning of the air up there, and also keeps it dry. That dust is not going to make things for a humid atmosphere. That's good for hurricane development. We don't want to see that. And also the dust goes right across the Gulf Coast into the deep southeast by the middle part of next week. So about seven, eight days from now, nice sunsets coming in for the northern part of the Gulf. Where do we look typically for a June formation zone? Usually in the Gulf of America. You can see it right there across Florida, tail end of a cold front, getting into lower parts of the southeast coast as well. Some of these water temperatures look pretty good. And you can see what it looks like right there. The tail end of the cold front, usually if it stalls out there, is where we would find some kind of a formation zone. Right now, that's just a, a typical setup. We don't have that happening over the next seven days. That's good. All right, hey, listen, you can get all your hurricane questions answered live. It's all part of our one-hour special Hurricane HQ&A. Fox Weather Hurricane Specialist Brian Norcross is going to answer all the questions and with his direct insight into the 2025 hurricane season. Make sure you watch live the Q&A. That's on Monday, June 2nd at 9 p.m. Eastern, only on Fox Weather. And it's really good resource. Brian knows his stuff, man. If you have any questions about hurricanes, say you're new to an area, you're not sure how to prepare, He's got all the answers for you right there. That's Monday, June 2nd at 9 p.m. on Fox Weather. Appreciate you watching. You're going to want to.